Hi, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC, and we're here at the garden in our final phase. So what you've seen so far is you've seen us layering the garden. We've used the agro diamonds, the biochar, the azomite, and the agro diamond gold was the last application where you've seen us put it in the trenches, and now it's time to plant the seeds, which will complete the garden, and then all we have to do is watch it grow and be watered automatically at the same time. So we've got the bed all prepped. we got the seeds all ready to go. we got the seeds hold ready to plant. The uh, bed is prepped as far as watering. We've been watering for the last few days with the earth mister and of course on top to break the bed in. So as you can see, the soil is all wet and ready to go. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to plant the seeds. And <clears throat> after we get the seeds planted, we're going to come back and we're going to put this mixture in there. What I have right here is azomite, half and half, half full of azomite, half of water. And what we're going to do after we drop the seeds in, of course, is we're going to come and we're going to drop this right in the holes like that on the seeds and coat the seeds with the azomite to help it um, break out of the seed and actually grow a little better, a little faster. So what we're going to do right now is plant some of the seeds and we're going to do first the lemon cucumbers that we have and also some regular cucumbers. So we're going to do half a row, half this row. This is 20 feet long. So we're going to do half the row with lemon cucumbers and half the row with regular cucumbers. And we're going to start right now by placing the seeds in the row and completing this garden project at least the planting part of the garden project. So, this year we're just going to place one seed in each hole. Last year we kind of dropped a couple in by accident and they sprouted out everywhere. Go. Okay, so we finished dropping in the seeds and now what we're going to do is we're going to add our mixture of azomite, half and half, half azomite, half water, to sort of germinate the seeds and help along with the germination process. So what I did is I got a turkey baster here and we're going to drop some in each hole right on the seed and then we're going to cover it up and then we're going to see how they do. So once again, mix up a glass, half azomite, half water. And turkey baster to put it in. And we're just going to drop some in each hole. Okay, so we're back again and we're going to conclude this video. As you see, we've got everything done. And just to wrap things up, let's go over what we've done. We started with bare dirt where we moved all the dirt back and we sifted out all of the rocks and things and we built it up. And we put on a layer of biochar, a layer of azomite and the agro diamonds. And then we built it up again and did another layer of the biochar, the azomite and the agro diamonds. And then we top, built it up and topped it up with the biochar and the azomite. And then what we did, as you've seen on the last video, we dug the trenches where each of these ropes are, and we put the agro diamond gold inside each trench, and that's going to be act as our fertilizer. So we got the MPK going on with the agro diamond gold. We got the agro diamonds to supply to hold water. We got the biochar to hold the nutrients, and we got the azomite. And of course, we got the underground watering system, which we're going to be adding the azomite and other liquid nutrients through the season. So in order to recap, um, what we have is in this first row right here, we've got some lemon cucumbers for the first 10 feet, and then we have your regular cucumbers for the next 10 feet. In the next row over, we've got snow peas running down that one. And on the middle, we have the radishes, just like we did last year with the radishes. And the third row, we have the zucchini for the whole row. And then the last row, we have two different types of heirloom tomatoes. So we're all going to see how that grows, and we're going to see how it did with all the amendments. And remember, we're going to be amending through the season with a lot of azomite and some other liquid nutrients. So that's it for now. We're going to sit back and see how it grows. We're going to bring you some updates from time to time to let you see um, the grow you know, through the different stages of growth. And maybe as we're adding some other liquid nutrients, we'll bring that online too. So this is it. All the seeds are in. They're planted. We got the azomite that we soaked the seeds in, then we buried them, and everything's ready to go. We're going to give it a quick watering, but that's it. And now we're just going to wait for it to grow, and then we're going to eat our own non-GMO food, all healthy and nutritious. So 
for this video, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation LLC, hoping you'll go back on our website and look at all the new things that we have. We added a new uh, feature this week, which is the liquid nutrient injector, where it will inject any type of liquid nutrient in equal pulses so you have equal distribution. You can check that out on our website. So until the next video, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation LLC, thanking you for joining us.